We give him all, we give him all his glory. So beloved, let us thank him for giving us a break for his children around the whole world. So shall we pray unto him, our rock and our salvation, the king of glory, miracle working God. This is another day that you have given to your children. We thank you, covenanted God. We honor you. It is by your mercy. It is by your goodness. It is by your compassion that your children are still breathing. Unto thee, O Lord, who can do this for us? We magnify the name. And the name is our Lord Jesus Christ, the owner of life. We thank you. We honor you. We magnify the name. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I have prayed. I take this opportunity to greet the viewers of Prophet Kanewu. May your heart desire be met in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is another day. He has given us a word. He has given us his message. And the title of the message is the Holy Spirit is the spirit of the truth. So without wasting time, let us go to the scripture. And this is John 14. And the verses is 16. John 14, and the verse is rather from 12 to 21. Let us hear his word. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Most assuredly, I say to you, he will believe in me. The works that I do, he will do also. And the greater works that these he will do because I go to the Father and whatever you ask in my name that I will do that whatever you ask in my name I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. 15. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray to the Father, and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of the truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither see him or know him, but you know him, for he dwell with you and will be with you. 18, I will not leave you an offense. I will come to you. 19, a little while longer than the world will see me no more, but you will see me because I live with you. Also, 20, at the day, you will know that I am in my father and you are in me and I in you. 21, the last verse. He who has my commandment and keep them it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my father, and I love him, and manifest myself unto him. Beloved, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. He is telling us this morning, the spirit of the truth, which is the Holy Spirit that is in us. So this morning, 
the Holy Spirit in us? Do you fellowship with him? Do you glorify him? Do you sing to him? Do you know him in a daily basis? As he said, I am going, but I will not leave you often. So beloved, the spirit of God is with us. But this morning, how do you fellowship with the Holy Spirit? Your friend, your comforter, your guide, your teacher. So Jesus Christ is saying this to us, that he is going, but he will send a helper, the one who will come and guide us, and he is with us. So are we doing what Christ is telling us? Do we fellowship? Do we sing to him? Do we pray? Does he give us the utterance and the direction? Because we cannot make it in this life. Let us read another scripture, which is Psalm 100. People are doing things on their own. You cannot because we are not ourselves. So beloved, let us hear another scripture which is Psalm 100, and the verse is three. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. We can never do anything on our own. It is the Holy Spirit that can guide you and I. So beloved, let us turn from our crooked way. Let us, let, let us, the Holy Spirit, direct our way, our paths. Anything we want to do, we should invite the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our comforter, our guide, because he is with us this end time. So beloved, let us know this. We continue. We go to the book of Amos. So beloved, let us hear the word of God. Amos 8 and the verse is 11 and 12. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. And I read Amos 11, Amos 8, 11. Behold, the day are coming, say the Lord, that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a test of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. There shall wander from sea to sea and from the north to east. They shall run to and flow, seeking the word of God, but shall not find it. Beloved, a time is coming. You want to hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, it will be too late. There is no way you are going to hear. That's why the book of Amos is telling us, it isn't a famine of text, but rather a famine of the word of God. So this is the day for repentance. This is the day to accept the word of God. This is the day that you repent and be obedient to the word of God. What a mighty savior we say. What a king we say, the owner of life. So this morning, Amos is telling us, the book of Amos, because a time is coming, you want to hear the gospel and it will be too late. This is the moment. 
So beloved, let us avail ourselves and know our King and fellowship with the Holy Spirit, the teacher who can teach us. Greater is he that is in us. That is the Holy Spirit. So the spirit of the tree is here with us. So beloved, let us not quench him, but rather fellowship, rather glorify him, rather continue in a daily basis. He will give us the utterance when it comes to prayer, when it comes to worship. So beloved, it is time that we change our mind, our mindset, and rather fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God, we thank you that you are with us. Today, you are with us. What a mighty God we serve. I want to sing a song. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Master. He reigns. We give glory to the master, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the master, he reigns. Hallelujah. He is a covenanted God. Wonderful, merciful, awesome master, Jesus. Spirit of God, we thank you. For this morning that the word has come forth, so that those who does not know you, they will run and come and serve Almighty God. We give you all your praise. We adore you. We magnify. Thank you, thank you, thank you for feeding us with the word of God. This is what the soul need. We praise you. Spirit of the living God, may you bless your end time prophet, prophet Kenewu, the wife, the children, and also the viewers, those who avail themselves in a daily basis to listen to the end time prophet. We thank you, covenanted God. We thank you for doing this for us, for feeding us this morning. Spirit of God, we praise you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, your word has come forth. Amen and amen and amen.